I think it's time we get to the uh, why sell Woody situation. Oh, boy. We're here, people. Um, Cool. We're about, like, 1.30. We're going to watch a little bit more of it. Apparently, he mentions um, 21 Savage. He He's, you know, he basically already has told these detectives, like, yo, check this out, man. Last time I snitched, you guys, like, played me. You know what I mean? Um, I want to make sure that my snitching this time is compensated well. You get what I mean? He basically saying no one niggas run off, run off on the plug or actually run off on the, the truth teller. You know, um, I got a salute to my boy. My boy did a whole physical before he started telling the truth. He made sure he's in prime condition. He's in, he's in good shape. And, um, I think, I, I think, you know, he was ready for this whole situation. Here we go. Pass the information along and get it to the people who need you know what I feel bad for? I feel bad for Zari and Caitlin. The way you talk about you don't have parents. No, this, what? You know my mind, friend? You would be able to understand why I say as much as I say to you. Mm -hmm. It's not that I pay attention to things. I pay attention to how you do other people and how you deal with me. But like I said, I can give you a certain amount of information right now. Uh, come contain, get right here. Whatever else I know, I can just see it's how you deal with me. It's going to be on hold. Huh? I said it's going to be on hold. What do you mean? All that other information. No, I'm just saying, like, I'm going to tell y'all what's it's going like on. It's like, a, we got to see. Listen. Yeah. We, we have to see. Quit. We have to see if, if this pans out as truthful tonight, we may come back and try to have another conversation with you. But we have to be able to say, he gave us, listen to me, you gave us something that, okay, you're truthful. You're so, you know, this is a very sad, you know, like, everybody's making fun of it because, you know, again, as much as that, and I feel very sorry for these guys, but I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the accountability meter. Young Thug built a career upon gangsterism. YSL was built to sound like fearless gangsters and ruthless gangsters. Okay, so this isn't just like you know like a random civilian who's just like caught up in some shit. These guys were actively choosing the life of street shit. The detective is even saying to him, yo, you were going back and forth and you're screaming out slat and all this stupid shit on Instagram. So, you know, I know like, you know, uh, while watching this, I, I really had some shred of like sympathy. Then I realized when these guys were out, all they kept doing is wiping their fucking nose, doing all this goofy shit, throwing up hieroglyphics. You know, they spray painted the guy who died. They spray painted slat on his grave. Yes, it's going to come a time that this happens. So as much as like I want to feel bad for this guy, um, I gotta rem remind myself that he is like he's not somebody who may have been caught up in some shit, right? This guy actively chose this, right? He actively chose this. Young Thug actively chose to let the entire world know I could kill your family. Now, and he chose to let people know I I know where all the snitches are. None are in my crew. There are snitches in this crew. So, again, we have to remember that these are choices these men are making, right? And when you start thinking about that, of course, you, you come to the inevitable conclusion of, damn, why, why, why the fuck was a millionaire like Thug really obsessed with this? But you hear even this nigga saying it, right? But uh, let me keep playing. You're right. You, you gave the information of value, and I'll pass that along. Hey, this is something that made a big, this made a big difference. This is a big deal that he gave us. Because a lot of other stuff we want to talk about. Y'all just take you to jail because it's the same thing I already went through right now. What I'm going to make the shit for? Well, I'm not saying you're making no, it up. This, this nigga, he, he ain't this man. He having a party at this club. I believe you on that. It's a difference between, no, because I, me and But I'm telling you what's being asked of me. Like, I need, they're asking me, well, who's going to go do it? If he don't show up, well, the club might still get shot up. But if he don't show up, there's a possibility that don't let that happen. But like I tried to tell y'all, it's a different as in, but I know this is not gonna work. It's a different as in, I was definitely like, you know what I mean? But y'all ready to go do that? This is this is different. So I'm, I mean, like you see with your own but eyes. They just gonna do it another. So uh, um, again, if you haven't like kind of figured out what kind of this is to, um. Woody is telling these cops, yo, put me undercover. Y'all could even come with me. Early in the conversation, he tells this 
black gentleman. He says, yo, you look like one of us. Like, you could be the driver. So Woody wants to go to work. Like, he's literally saying, put me in, coach, right? He's saying, yo, you could be around, and I could entice them in a conversation about the crimes they're about to do, and they'll still admit it, even in front of you. So Woody wants to get out there and work. All he wants is for this gun charge, which is why they got him. They, they pulled him over on some shit. They searched the car, and he has a gun charge. Apparently, he had a hold or, you know, he had probation for some other shit, so it's going to turn into a problem. He wants his gun charge to go away. He wants these cops to help him get rid of the gun charge, so he's trying to offer mad information. Yo, I know somebody's going to die tonight. I could tell you. Just, just tell me that if I tell you and I help you stop it, you, there is no, there's no charge. They're basically saying, we can't do that. I know how this works. This, we, we, you know, remember the 40 shootings back and forth? If they don't do it tonight, they're going to do it tomorrow night. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, do you, yeah, I don't understand how many different people are involved. I understand. Trust me, I understand. No, you don't, because you'd be surprised who I'll involved. Listen. I'm telling you. So what's that one wrong? Say it again. What signs? What sex? Who's, Who's involved? involved? Everybody. Every single body from drug dealers, everybody involved. Like who? You, you keep, you're not, I, I can't hey, shoot that. Yeah, I'm one of the most, the, the information that I, I give you guys this information, did you have okay. That's not true, I've never done that to you, don't do that. But you're not telling me how you can hit me, even though, I'm I don't telling you. Me nothing, but if I gotta go sit in jail and do time, I mean, like, I didn't say that, what I'm saying is, well, I can't make it any clearer, Woody. I've never, I've never screwed you over. So this way I had Quaid Savage. Mm-hmm, who's, which Savage? Yes, it's crazy. 21 Savage? No. 44 Savage? Yes. Okay. They're gonna do what? They Who the hell is 44 Savage? There's a nigga named 44 Savage? What the fuck? He went to the club tonight. And how, how do they get this information? Because to me, I had to get it from him. I heard right there when he said it. But I'm saying, like, how does he communicate to them? He FaceTime. So he FaceTimes Quay, he FaceTimes Savage. No. Nah. That's what I'm asking. How does it work? I'm, so you I'm, say you want another name. See, now you, okay. you, you, you're going to, to other stuff, you know what I mean? Like I said, I gave you the names. That's how y'all gonna stop it. You follow them to me. They gonna be on the car. This, this thing. I know they're not gonna use his car. Whose car? Savage. And the car Quay then. I forgot what kind of car it is. I forgot what kind of car it is. Who bought y'all those stingers? Hmm? Who bought y'all the stingers? Huh? Stingers. Who bought them? Who bought what? Stingers. What you mean? What's a stinger? Yours and Quay's. Mm -hmm. Anything about mine? I bought my own. Well, I put that on. He ain't buy my stinger. Who bought Quay's? Quay ain't got no stinger. He's the white one. That ain't his. Who is it? That's the other one. Savage? So you think they're going to take a stinger? Hmm? You think they're going to drive a stinger? Oh, so it's a Kia stinger. There's a car called a Kia stinger? Nope, because it's in there. Right now, they're going to they gonna call, they're going to call, they're going to call some more people for the car. They're going to get a hot box? Yep, they're fast. Then you know about it how. If he, he said he don't like you, looks at you sideways, why would he tell you? Who? Cool. Doesn't. No, he don't think he's out. He's just peeping his ear. Okay, so, all right, so he's telling on Thug now. He says, Thug wants to kill 44 Savage. Am I getting this right? Thug is trying to kill 44 Savage. Is this what's going on? I, I we're gonna have to look up who Forty Four Savage is, Chad. Like this is this is this is a little. L let me see. Let's Google this. 
44 Savage Instagram. Is there a nigga named 44 Savage? Who the fuck is 44 Savage? Is it this nigga? Nah, this nigga in Spain. Nah, this nigga look like, yeah, he speaks Spanish or something. Check Woody's Instagram. We got Woody's Instagram. It's 725 underscore uh, underscore Woody underscore. I ain't gonna lie. I be having... Wait, what the fuck? No. Why sell Woody Instagram? I be knowing these niggas Instagram by heart, nigga. Where is it at? Hold on. Let me, let me, let me find the Instagram. Okay. Seven two five underscore underscore Woody underscore. Yeah. It's supposed to be him. Oh yeah, here you go. This is Woody's Instagram. Chat, we don't got to investigate this nigga. He's already telling. He would tell quicker than we, we would find info. We don't got we don't got to investigate him. But who's forty four Savage? Somebody somebody hit me with the info about forty four Savage. Cause cause somebody hit me with um. Chat, who the fuck is 44 Savage? Oh, is IG just 44 Savage? No way. It's 44 Savage. This ain't this ain't a nigga, bro. Stop it, bro. Oh, it's 44 Savage underscore. He says he's followed by a little baby. Okay, thank y'all. Nah, this ain't him. Uh, 44 Savage underscore. No. How many underscores? Three? Following? Let's see who followed him. Oh, he followed 21? Oh, okay, okay. I might have found him, chat. I might have found, I might have found him. Let's see. I'm looking through a follower account right now. Let's, let's see if we see any. Does anybody follow him? Who follows this guy? This is a guy, right? Feel like I died when I was broke, but this little money got some pain off. Is he seen with any rappers? Is he seen with any rappers? Look in the tags. Oh, no. Why would Thug want to kill him? Was Thug just trying to kill people? Well, clearly, that's what the police are saying. But let me just look through the stories real quick. To see why the fuck, why the fuck would Thug want to kill this guy? Uh, he's just showing his kid, I guess. Yeah, he has two kids. Yeah, I, I can't see it. Well, this guy looked like he has something. Oh, what we gonna do? I don't, I ain't really too tough worrying about what the next man gonna do. 
times. Like, I don't want to see that happen for you. So please just let it go. That's why I'm, I'm gonna play a lot with niggas. Laugh a lot like I'm on. Thank you. They said the second picture, little baby commented. Got him, y'all. Got him, y'all. Yeah, this is him. So, so help me understand this. Young Thug wants to kill this guy, but Lil Baby's in his comments. And allegedly, Lil Baby follows him. Hmm. So, chat, is this guy a shooter? Like, what does this guy do? Or why people want him dead? Look like he's a Muslim or something? I'm just, I'm just looking through comments, chat. We see a little baby up in the comments. Yeah, we got a little baby up in the comments. Just mark that down. Matter of fact, take a screenshot. Right here. Okay, let, let, let's hear what else is going on. So many people in here, this it. So when I go around, by the last time we went around, we, we just sat there and talked. But when Shannon was around, I just didn't like the way, I just, I didn't like the way this shit played out. What, what, Shannon? Yeah, I just felt like, I just felt like. Shannon is SB. So SB is a killer. Apparently he caught two or three bodies, but he tells two. But the only thing is he'll kill a nigga then tell and come back and kill another nigga. So he's a killer and a teller. Like, 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 this thing is ambidextrous. You know what I mean? Like, he's, he, he, he's, I, I can't call him bisexual. He's just bi savage. You know what I mean? He's, a, he's, he's, a, he's a savage and a teller. It's, it's crazy. Like, Shannon just, like I told you, she's not going around. I feel like I just, just, I ain't stupid. I don't, I don't, I don't think that when it comes to me and him, because he knows what I mean. I don't feel nothing. But, He's stupid, you know what I mean? He's still stupid. Like, shit, that nigga, you know what I mean? Niggas don't understand, you know what I mean? The blessing that God have gave them. But, it's this, this them to deal with it. It's not me, it's not, it's not me to go out here and do something stupid. And um, a thug, didn't you say you could smell the snitches, nigga? You heard the nigga said he ain't loyal to you, nigga, you're loyal to himself. I'm being loyal to him, because I'm not. I'm loyal to myself, you know what I mean? Whatever the home did. This fucking cop is tired of the bullshit, man. He's like, man, y'all niggas play gangster outside this room and come in here ready to cry, checking your pulse, doing all this therapy shit, nigga. Tell us what the fuck you got or, nigga, I'm dipping. She's over here buying it. I, th I think she done a fuck. All I keep doing is messing up your life. We can't. He just keeps on school. Y'all keep putting me in, in the jam where... Y'all keep wanting me to say this and then they're dirty. I like to say right now. You know what I mean? They gonna go they gonna go up their club tonight. I gotta go upstairs. They got his mom they got his mom they got For like good? Yeah. What up can you stay down here? Who's down here when I come upstairs? You said what? I'm about to come upstairs gotta do a piece of paperwork. Yo, he realizes she's trying to fuck. He's like, yo, listen, I'm not trying to third wheel and cop block, yo. Y'all trying to fuck. So is there someone to sit down here with him? Yeah, come upstairs to do work. Some paperwork. They got his girl. They got his big mama edges. Yo, this cop is getting a little sassy with her. He's like, yo, you got to come upstairs for what? She's like, she's looking at him like, nigga, we're in front of the nigga we have locked up. You know we're supposed to talk in code. She's like, some paperwork. Look how she's looking like, nigga, what's up with you? Look, yo, that nigga is just tired of her. You can tell. He's tired of her. She's looking like, yo, why you acting like that type shit? You feel me? The nigga just walked off. Fuck that. Oh, about counseling my whole thing is, man. I mean, I ain't playing no games with y'all, man. I just did my time. I told y'all everything I knew about the situation. I still had to go to do time. Uh, 
I was wrong. But you didn't I, I go didn't. over the nut situation. You went because you had a gun and a rag. I didn't have nothing to do with the nut situation. Right, what I'm saying is, that's, that's not me. I didn't do that to you. I didn't do that to you. Right now, you say, okay, I'm going to jail. I'm okay, I'm going to jail. How did they speak? They might have not heard it. Because I meet deep inside. I don't really believe he's going to go to the club. But by him not posting, I believe he might do. Oh. But, okay. I don't think he's gonna go, but like I said, I don't know what he might do. Mm-hmm. But Quay now, Quay tell me every single thing. Mm-hmm. I mean, and I ain't got no reason for that. You know what I mean? I told Quay time out of time, hey man, stop being stupid. You know what I mean? Like you, you tripping? You, you, you dumb as hell, bro. I tell him. So essentially, he's saying Quay is one of the other guys that that's a shooter. He's saying he told he tells Quay, bro, stop being stupid, doing shit for thug. That that's what I'm kind of getting. He's basically so, which is so ironic. Clearly, Young Thug thought he had some army of niggas, who are just loyal to the bone, right? While he's the only one who lives in mansions, and these guys can't afford lawyers. I don't know why you would ever think that. If like you should have been the first nigga to have a lawyer in here to make sure he shuts the fuck up. But that's that's not how black gangs are ran, my nigga. Like <laughs> niggas is doing whatever the fuck they want to do, right? So if you think you're gonna be living in mansions and fucking all the bitches, and then these guys are just gonna be super loyal, you could tell there's dissension already. So this whole YSL shit, this slap bullshit they've been doing, this shit ain't going too far. Like this guy was basically telling the other shooter, "Yo, bro, you should probably stop doing this dumb shit for Thug." <clears throat> what this whole snitch session is painting is that Young Thug. Is the reason why the, the the DA said Young Thug is responsible for all the murders. They're saying Young Thug is calling it. This remember that w- w- one thing they said could be an intro for like uh, um the Black Knight or whatever or the Dark Knight, where they'd be like, yo, yo, he's the. Let me see if I can pull it up. Uh, young Thug description court, Dark Knight. It's like the Dark Knight theme. I don't know if I can find it. It's like, yo, he's the one they call King Slime. And they put music behind it. Let me see. He's the one they, yeah, 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 right here. They call King Slime right here. This shit right here. That you see the shadow in the back of the room. He's the one directing traffic. He is the one they're all afraid of. He's the one that's King Slime. He's pulling the shots. He is the most dangerous of the 28, Judge. And I, I implore you not to grant him a bond. He is dangerous. The setup they've given to you. Yo, he's the most dangerous of the 28? And some of these things got like three bodies. I implore you not to grant him a bond. He is dangerous. The setup they've given to you is actually going to be less controlled, not more. If he gets a burner judge, and the court may know this, a lot of the communications that Mr. Williams is on is on FaceTime because it's not traceable. It's not trackable. And we know that to be their MO. He gets a burner. He gets in there. He runs his gang from inside, and he won't get that, and no one's going to throw his cell. Wow. Time after time after time after time. Just get your point, man. I don't reason we had a conversation last night because I was telling him what some of them can't shot in Canada. You know what I mean? And he was telling me, I just got a phone with Shadow, Shadow did right here, then third, whatever, whatever. Then when they came to me, they were like, boo, we was in now eating, and then he FaceTimed. Who FaceTimed? Doug FaceTimed. Quite. Why were you right there? And he was like, the bitch got marked. Ooh, 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 ooh. People in the hell with y'all with months and him telling everyone ain't he the hell with y'all. Just, just telling all type of information. Like I kept telling them, man, man, keep me away from this shit. You know what I mean? I did my time in jail. You know what I mean? I'm not responsible for nothing. Yeah, you folk got them, got me tired of every fucking thing. Cause this nigga, crazy, you wanna get yourself caught up in it. Crazy, man, I told him, man, you right now broke, you ain't got no money in your pocket. By the way, salute to uh, Super Drew. Uh, uh, they became a member on YouTube. You can become a member on the Negotiator page. I don't know why. Not the King Academics page. But uh, thank you for the uh, membership.
you know, this nigga put you in any position right now. I walked in the bathroom, came back, he's on the phone. <laughs> and he really did jump head first. And so, I got a call last night. I mean, I'm supposed to meet up today. You know what I mean? You were quiet. I told her I ain't talking on the phone. Quiet, anyway, I told her I ain't talking on the phone. You're supposed to meet up with me today. And I'm going to tell him to his face again today. Like I told him the other night. Stop being stupid. No, Yo, Empty Max, thank you for the ad donation. He says, Yo, I do you think it's wild that the police release these videos? The police ain't releasing them. I keep trying to tell y'all. The police is not releasing these videos. There are people, th th there's, good, there, there's something called the Freedom of Information Act. This case that he, this guy was locked up for is a closed case. They should have sealed this because it's currently going to be discovery in a other in, in, a, in a in another open case which is the rico case they're gonna use this i don't know why they didn't seal it right but anybody could go request this this is a publicly available document that you could request the freedom of information act allows um citizens of the united states to request uh and and be able to legally see um by the way this happened i think they passed that law after 9 11 when you know people wanted to see like certain shit because people sometimes have distrust of the government blah blah distrust of the process and they passed a law saying that you know you could submit a query where they could force people to give up you know or force government entities to release information on already solved cases so they're they're gonna use this case that he was locked up for that this um um, cooperation session was happening in has already been complete. They should have still sealed it though, but they probably didn't seal it because you could have gotten the copies of it before the Rico case came up. So it's probably like a moot point. But like for example, if Gunna did one of these, you won't see it right until um, possibly after the Rico case ends. And I would imagine that the way Gunner's lawyers talking, he would push to have that sealed. So you should never see it, ever. So if Gunner did do one of these, you shouldn't ever see it. Um, but if you were gonna ever see it, you would have to wait till the Rico case ends. Police have a job to do. They own him. They're gonna do whatever they take. It's to him use. Yeah, somebody says, yo, it's called a, a FOIA. It's Freedom of Information Act, okay? So once you, you can submit that request for an open case and... Um, uh, not for open case for 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 uh, a, a case that's been adjudicated, which means that somebody either you know it got disposed, which means they got let off, or it got dropped, or they were convicted, um, and you could see things like police reports, right? Even though you could just go get that station, you can see things like police reports, you can see interviews, you can see transcripts, right? So there's probably a transcript of this, so so you could probably request a transcript, and you could request this, right? You can request a transcript of the court proceedings unless that court proceeding was sealed. So all of these things you could get under um, the Freedom of Information Act. Somebody says, and by the way, thank you for um, um, a lot of people were saying, Yo, Act, you got to go check the page. I don't know whose page you're talking about. They said the Kia Stinger was there. Is, is this the Kia? Is this a Kia Stinger? Is it fucking Kia right here? Look at the tires. Look like it's a Kia. The Kia Stinger? Okay. Oh, yes. So this is a Stinger. Okay. Somebody even commented said it. This is Stinger the Feds was talking about. They must be watching your page, big fella. What you got to say about that? Okay. I guarantee that nigga got rid of that Stinger in a, in a minute, nigga. That shit is out of here. When's the last time we posted? February 10th? Is he still alive? You gotta make sure this thing is still alive, bro. She ain't music, and he get mad and mad. And I told him all of this. Then he like, shit, I don't put up on I talked to him this morning. I think I talked to him this morning. He was like, he taking his little boy somewhere. He was doing something this morning. And you're gonna meet me later. And I see you still on. I keep telling you, that. Bro, let it go. I don't know why you keep calling me. You still on that dumb shit. But 
J'ai créé mille codes et mille fins, mais nous guérons à quoi? So he's saying that they're they were trying to use him to go get a uh, stolen car that they could go do a crime or go kill somebody, right? It's kind of so interesting because this guy is so used to telling. This thing is not even talking about the gun no more. Like, bro, they got you in there for a gun. This thing is just talking about something. He's just venting. This is not even extension. This is venting. This thing just has some shit to get off his chest. He just had some shit he had to get off his chest. This thing was just clearing his mind. I mean, of course, you gonna come for me when they get that. You know what I mean? For all I can do here, talk shit all day. You know what I mean? They're gonna they gonna need to listen to me. They're gonna make you mad and they come for you. Exactly. And that's why they're gonna kill his head. You know what I mean? And everybody gonna think I did. I got nothing to do with it. Doesn't that put you in a bad position? I'm not really in a bad position. Can you see? This thug, this me. Whatever he do, I'm automatically just attached to him because people think I'm just stupid. I don't like being around this nigga. You know, every time he don't call me up, come up there. Mm. So he admits. And basically, this is Peyton, this criminal organization. They say, yo, they think I'm like this nigga's student. They're like, I don't like being around Thug because people look at me and associate me with Thug, which obviously your name is Y. So Woody, right? But, but clearly, he's just expressing to the cops he don't like being around Thug. He's even basically telling the I thought the cops was making this up. Bro, the lower gang members are complaining about the leader saying, Thug is ruthless. He's blood hungry. He's bloodthirsty. He just wants to kill people. He's reckless. I don't know why he keeps doing this. He's rich. Why does he want to do all this stuff? This are this is where you start looking at Thug to be like, Thug, what the fuck was you on, nigga? Well, I mean, how does it look that you're on Instagram saying somebody's gonna die today? How does that look? Good. What if you wouldn't have been stopped tonight and it happened? You know who suspect number one was going to be? They don't care. He doesn't care anything about you. We've had this talk a hundred times. He doesn't care about you. You think I care about him? But you keep putting yourself in these bad situations. So what can I tell you, baby? Help me up. Because the job is not good. What, what can I tell you? Because I'm, I'm not. Now, like, I'm not trying to waste y'all time. I know y'all like, just give them do a job. I'm, I, one time I heard, one time I heard, but they fucked me right up. I was supposed to cost my brother. I feel like I caught, I, I'm not calling nobody. I'm doing that to this nigga. To who, Cal? No, I wasn't doing that. I'm not saying I was doing that. I'm like, what's going on? Like, what's going on? I didn't do nothing. Yeah, but you were in a bad situation because I called Bloody Jane on to us one time, thinking they were school. This nigga Bloody Jane didn't tell me. So I been putting in bad situations that I didn't know about. Yeah, but you didn't know about the situation that happened to you. Yeah, but you didn't know about the situation that Trying to help people out, trying to stop this shit. It's not gonna stop. It, he's not gonna stop JK did. I'm saying I was just right there with him and I seen him like Wow, he says he's not gonna stop until Kel is dead. Who's Kel? Who's Kel, chat? Who's Kel? Who's Kel, chat? Stupid and go and do that. 
you keep come telling me I don't be wanting to know nothing in it. That that's why I don't go around. Mm-hmm. Cause every time I go around, he on some dumb shit. I don't be wanting to know nothing in it. Y'all niggas ain't got no money. Y'all pay. Y'all broke. I'm not being around y'all. I could copy the phone, they give me money every day. How the hell I'm going to go around this nigga? He ain't going to give me nothing. I had to pay for their food. They didn't have that much, they didn't even have that in their pocket. Like I told him, y'all need to sit around this nigga, be broke all day. It's on y'all. Y'all around him and baby. So where are you getting all your money from? They didn't have nothing to do with it. Where do you get it? You got a whole lot of money. Where does it come from? I don't got a whole lot of money. Hey, where you make his lawyer? Where you get money from? A thousand dollars ain't nothing. It's like you want to tell five names, like you don't know. You kill me. Like you don't need to be hanging with you, like, why are we doing that? Right. Because the D brought this nigga around. I don't know what I mean. I just, when he came around, man, I just seen how people were doing. And like, I, I, I actually, I'm not care, man. I made, it, I made him put things on his Instagram that, that made me proud. I don't care about nothing else. Listen, at the end of the day, the only person that cares about you is you in this situation, and your kids. I care about you, but you don't know you don't believe that. <laughs> I know you don't, but I've never screwed you over, I've never put your business out there. You're my baby, you made me the phone call. Mm. And you posted it on Instagram. I didn't say who. But, come on. But, I just go to how, many, how many times are you gonna keep, like, getting, scraping by and just dodging bullets? Like, you, you, you gotta stop at some point. Man, this is on God. Mm-hmm. I go around and throw up. I hear him talk stupid. I tell you, I said, they're gonna get you. You said what? I told him they're gonna get you. Who, Doug? Yeah, I told him. Like the police? Or yeah, I said, the police gonna get you. Damn. I'm gonna be honest with you. The more I'm listening to this shit, and who knows? You know, this might just be one side of the story. But it sounded like Young Thug was acting really reckless. Now, let me let me tell you this. What happens with a lot of people that come from certain community, not a lot, but like certain individuals. Once they become rich, they still be they just use those riches to perpetuate crime even more. They just hide they hide themselves better. But they also don't have to do anything. And also they could get out of problems easier. It looks like Young Thug became more emboldened to try to get people killed. And I'm going to be honest with you. Let me let me pose this question to y'all. If YSL Woody, who's working right now, is even telling one-tenth of the truth. And Young Thug is allegedly responsible for the death of over five black men that he either ordered their murder, put money on their head, or did other stuff to get five other black men killed. And by the way, the number of men that they're accusing that he he allegedly had people killed is way more than that. What would y'all say? What would y'all say? I remember when I started finding out certain details about the Melly case. And I was just like, I was like, I'm still in denial. I keep, I'll be honest with you. I'm still in denial. I love the music so much. I'm in denial. No. Wait, why would, no. There is a thing where a certain type of artist believe the the better they are at their art and the more famous they are and love they are and revere they are they get a sense of being untouchable they have all the money people love them people fear them people respect them that they feel they're untouchable what this guy keeps describing is a guy who isn't trying to carefully get crimes done this he's describing some guy who's raging who's a raging lunatic with power money resources and who's putting in danger the freedoms and lives of people underneath him to get his 
desire for blood. That's actually sad if that's true. Because all that great music that we love, do, do we really know Thug? A lot of times we fall in love with the character that is the artist. Do we know the man? Do we know Jeffrey Williams? Do we know Jeffrey Lamar Williams? Or do we just know Young Thug? The Young Thug I know, I remember I used to do mad videos on him. I would say shit and make funny jokes like, yo, thugger, thugger, motherfucker. I'd be like, yo, this nigga is, I'm like, yo, this nigga, I'm like, this nigga, I'm like, this nigga fruity like a, uh, like a juicy fruit or some shit. I, I used to, I used to be just fucking making mad jokes. And I remember saying, I think he might be one of the most chillest people because nothing bothers him. And it was my belief that Young Thug, obviously he pointed out Charlemagne, him and Charlemagne had some shit, which I was like, oh, he must just not know about me because I'm making jokes crazy on Charlemagne, at least about him. I was covering him a lot. And, and I remember saying, damn, yo, Young Thug is unique. No matter what people say about him, he never tweets them back. He never gets mad. He never says, when I see you, I'm going to beat you up. He lets shit roll off his shoulder. That's who I believe Young Thug was. Now, if you hear these stories, they say Young Thug had a conversation. And this is very eerie and reminds you, if you've ever seen The Wire, Young Thug went to the mall and got into an argument with a security guard at the mall. The security guard tried to check him a little bit, and Young Thug told a nigga he could get him killed. So maybe Young Thug wasn't a nigga who just let everything just roll off his shoulder. Maybe online, maybe the reason why he didn't mind people clowning him about dresses and about his sexual, be, his apparent sexual behavior or his clothing choice or, you know what I mean, calling him gay and nothing like that because he was really focused on what's going on in the street. Who knows? I didn't say who that time. But I just go to how, many, how many times do you want to keep like getting scraping by and just dodging boats? Like, you, you gotta stop at some point. Man, this one good. Mm -hmm. I go around the door. I hear him up stoop. I tell you how shit they're gonna get you. You said what? I told him they're gonna get you. Who, Doug? Yeah, I told him. Like the police? Or yeah, what? I said, the police gonna get you. I said, all that shit you're doing, they're gonna get you. And what did he say? She be like, I know. So you don't care? No, I don't. He read it. He let her, he let her say, I know. I told him, I said, they're gonna get you. I said, you, you put all this shit in there, you don't fuck about no cop, you change this right here, they don't like it. They're gonna get you. They're gonna watch you for five, six, seven, eight years. Okay, you made $2 million lawyer for all the killings, all that stuff. I told him that. They're gonna watch you as long as they're gonna watch you, they're gonna get you. You know they tell me? Shit, I remember I come out of the show in Florida. Got them bitches were lined up. You know what I mean? Somebody called and said they the feds outside, they were lined up. And I know. You know what I mean? And just like, well, make sure you don't take me with you, because at the end of the day, I don't have nothing to do with shit you got going on. Bitch tell that shit, bitch fuck you. You know what I mean? Gave me a hook. They ain't give me no money. When's the last time you seen them and hung out with them? Um, was she asked the last time he seen uh thug with guns or something? I'm telling you with you because at the end of the day, I don't have nothing to do with shit you got going on. Bitch, that bitch, fuck you. You know what I mean? Gave me a hook. They ain't give me no money. When's the last time you seen him and come out with him? I don't know what she's at. Um, I just went up there the other day, but I didn't go in because I got mad. I got a fight in the club. No, I'm, I'm pretty sure you got hurt. Whether we were shooting in the parking lot? Yeah. I was seeing what's going on, so I'm gonna hit me. Man, I got a fight. Don't be a kid. Somebody was fighting. When I was trying to see who was fighting, somebody hit me. We get the fight, and they pulled me out to a. We get in the car. And then somebody went to shoot. They shot the car. It was a car in front of me. They shot the car. So I didn't know the people were shooting at me, but I thought it was them. Who? Why is it? So. They were shooting at you? That's what I thought. Why? Because I looked up and seen the cubs. Like, oh, these fucking shooting at me. And I went up to the studio. You know, I'm like, who are you talking about? Wine to LA. 
I'll talk about here, bro. Who, who, who I am. Uh, Retro Hype, thank you for the uh, bits. I, I agree with you. Doug is on his Vibes Cartel shit. Young Thug was on his Vibes Cartel shit. Except it, it, it's it's more easier and it, it's easier to, to kind of get away with that in Jamaica than here, I would imagine. And when I got up there, because they don't like, they don't like one So where is he from? Who? The mom. My mom, um, he's from County. Well, he, he knows those guys, he knows Yank and them. Who? Yank and them. No, my, my, I don't think he's going, I don't like. He do. No, I'm saying, I don't think he know him, like, no, no, I just think, like. Like when Nara was older, we discovered that, showing no Yank. Yeah, I'm saying, but I don't think he know him like personally. I mean, like, like I don't know him personally, but so like, but why would you go to eleven forty five? Like, why would you even do that? You know, that's not gonna go good. Cause my brother had to show me all had to mm-hmm. show. So when I went up there, I seen them easy now. Then I seen Doug come. When I seen Doug, I just stood by myself. I wasn't gonna be with nobody. And just why nigga hit me, I was by myself. Like, I guess I wasn't gonna stand over there with him. Cause I remember what you said. You was at, you was at the concert. You ain't seen me, so I knew they were gonna be that way to see me with him. So, but I was by myself. Nigga hit me. They get the fight. They throw me out the gate though. I got a car. By the time I went in the gate, got a car. So I started shooting. Shit, we dug out. I looked up, seen the car. I went up to the studio and I confronted him. Nigga, that fucking shot at me. And they were trying to talk. I was like, damn yeah, man, bro. I looked up, seen the car. Then they trying to tell me. P L K E D S and third, so I started. It started making sense. So I was like, "Oh, I mean, but why did they trust Quay so much?" Yeah, nobody he trusts Quay. He, he do it both the same. The difference between me and Quay, yeah, Quay stupid. Quay ain't been around as long as you. Quay was around before me. How? They grew up together. Oh, don't grow us out. The difference between Quay and Quay is within that, the ass is. We know you not. Whatever he say, that's the difference between me and Quay. We know you not. You don't know it. We know you not. You still think so too. But well, no, I think you like being around him. You like what comes with it, but you know. Nah, I don't even, I, in that case, I. You just the other day. You know how mad he was? The other day you just posted one call, I gotcha. There wasn't no, no, there wasn't no, no, like, no stupid shit. You know what I mean? Like, I never post no stupid shit. Like, oh, you've been posting a bunch of stupid shit. No, I'm talking about, I will do something for you. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'm just saying, like, like when he called me, like, come here, I'll be like, I'll go up there. But when I hear him on stupid where? shit, like, to the way he, when I hear him on stupid shit, I'll be like, oh, I, I, I do. You know what I mean? Like, he mad because I don't hang around. Like, you ever been? Oh, he said when Thug starts saying stupid shit, he leaves. Hey, I'm, I'm going to take a piss real quick. I'm going to keep playing it. If if anything important is, saying, is said, just spam it in the chat when I come back and I'll rewind it, all right? You look at my page. Like, he watched all my posts. He tell me. But he watched on a fake page. But if I'm around him about the he, he he be on it. But if I'm not, he don't like it. And he, he be like, Why, what is he doing? Why are you over there? Like, you need to be like, oh, yeah. No, I don't know what I mean. I'm not hanging around right none of y'all. Because they end up there. I saw them, they said, I scratch. I cried at night. Now, I couldn't call none of y'all and get nothing. And they had this thought. You and the family really didn't do nothing for you. Right. You don't understand. Like, he ruins everything. I can't even say life. what I want to say to you. I'm going to say, I can't. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, I didn't do nothing. The thing that I was willing to do to him, and for how he did me, I would never in my life. Be cool with him. Like, I go around because I just, I just like keep things in. I don't want people to feel as in. Oh, this fuck me to think nothing in. This and that and third. So when he called me and stuff like that, I had another phone. Yeah, what? I had another phone. I got rid of it because he had my number. Guess how he was calling me? I would call him. You know what I mean? I was done. So I don't what made you like back cool with him? What made me stop? To be very honest with you, I just wake up in the morning and be like, man, it feels good to be free. 
No, I mean, no, it, and then he gives you, I know he gives y'all money, I know that. That's I what promise I mean. you, you know how much money he gave me? So what can I give? How much? You know how much he gave me? How much? You, just guess. I don't know. Just guess. He got it. Yeah, it's all and he didn't give me nothing. He didn't give you nothing. Which way you didn't give me nothing. Where you get all this money from? You don't pay attention to my Instagram as much as I see. You just be getting money. Exactly. I pull up on certain people. You gotta me. start with money. Who? You gotta start. You because I, certain people see me, they put money in my pocket. No, my my friend got a jail. People put like sixty, some hundred in my pocket. But here's the thing: you were given an opportunity with a bond that you probably shouldn't have gotten. You got it. And then you walk in and you do all this stupid shit. Like, what are we supposed to keep doing? When you're on probation, instead of violating you, we kept calling you in the office. Stop, listen, stop, 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 stop. It, I mean, I don't want you to get killed. We have this talk every time. Like, I'm going to feel bad if something happens to you. And I'm going to feel bad for the girls. That's what's really going to make me upset. But if you have to like, what, like when, Like when Chad got killed? His kid. You know, big chap when he got killed? I was in jail. Oh, I, 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 I didn't. I know you didn't do that. We know who did that. We, you didn't do so that. So, just be honest, for me to you, because I hear you. you, you might not think I'd be listening. Mm -hmm. So, who you think I killed? Then? I can tell you tell him. Yeah, because we, you didn't do that. So, I, okay, but you I mean, what did I do? You do a lot of stuff, but you didn't do that. You didn't, I, didn't, you didn't, I know who killed him. But what I'm saying is, his kids are drawn up about that. I don't want to see Zara and Caitlin like that. Like, it's not fair. Like, you say you have a lot of stress with this, you don't have anybody. So how much time you think I deserve? Oh, it's not for me to decide. That's not for me to decide. You, you, got, you got to stop, though. You I got to stop. Switch, you, 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 you got to stop. You got to stop. If I wanted to see you locked up, I would have... You ain't got to say I, I went, You see how all other people's probation stuff has gone before, right? I, I look, I literally be looking at it to try to catch you somewhere in the street. I know you I'm gonna jump out of a bush. Look at me. You're gonna find me in the bush. I know, but I know you're somewhere around. But no, but saying. here's the thing. I'm not. You gotta stop. You can't keep skating by and dodging and dodging and dodging. Right. Dodging. This, Something bad's gonna happen, Woody. This is, you don't understand. I'll be scared of being in the house like for real. I'll be scared. So you're not scared of standing in by 60 winter? You're not scared of standing in double my wreck? Not because I'm on point. When I'm, when I'm somewhere where. I have to be watching, I have to be watching, but if I'm somewhere like that. How are you going to be on point if somebody pulls in there and sprays it up while you're standing up? You're not. Well, you're not. Let me say, you ain't right here on point. No, I mean, I know I'm going to jail. I but here's the thing, in your line of business, with the people you deal with, there's no loyalty. Just like you say, show those people can turn them in, or what, there's not, like with the Chad thing, there's no loyalty. Like, there's no loyalty. Like, there's just not. So, you could be standing by 60 Windsor, and someone could be coming around back and just shooting the head. Like, that's not okay. You can't live like that. You gotta stop at some point. That's why I asked you, Trevor. You, you gotta stop. I gave you what you wanted. No, no, no. But listen, what I'm saying is, and I'm gonna make sure it gets to who it needs to get to. I, I'm giving you my word on that, but I can't promise you anything. I don't want to tell you something and then. I look at Shannon, though. What? Look at Shannon. What do you mean, look at Shannon? Shannon's in jail. Right. And he gave you all the information. He go to prison, he stayed. You know what I mean? Like, Shannon, I'm not trying to be Shannon like, can't stay out of his own way. Right. You, you don't get a bond and then go steal it, then flip your car and steal the person's car that tries to help you. Like, we don't do that. I don't want nothing about it. Well, he just did that. He flips his car, a good a good, per, a good human stops to see if he's okay, and he steals their car. But we can't do that. Like, Shannon's had plenty of chances, and Shannon screws up every chance he gets. You've had plenty of chances in the past, you've made a lot of mistakes. We can agree on that. So what can what else can I help you with? If I can give you I can tell you one more thing. And and I mean I can't tell you that. What? Yeah. Nigga, this is flirting. I can't tell you that. <laughs> uh I was no, nah, I can't tell that's, that's flirting. Nigga, this is flirting. Did you go to my town now? I'm not gonna put myself in a photo situation. Nobody's trying to put you in a photo situation. I just thought you did right there, man. Like I said, I, I'll, I'll make sure I get to who it needs to get to. I, I'm trying. I don't want to see you. No, because you already said it. Okay. I can't make you a problem. That's not my job. My job no, is to go out, I get it. information. I know that. I, That's I, it. I, like I said, I had to think about it. Okay, you can't promise me nothing because they'll say this is the reason I gave you information. But my whole thing is, let's say how the dare speak. If this boy don't go in the club tonight, uh, something that come up that uh, I'm not saying you're a liar. I'm not saying that. None of y'all gonna be feeling like 
Yeah, whatever. Like, I ain't got no reason not, just what I said. If, if I was to be like standing outside where I'm looking at the camera. No, 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 where I I'm looking at the camera. And I'm like, hey, what? Shit, y'all, y'all, shit, y'all done got them, you know what I mean? Woo -woo. You can see with your own eyes that they're serious about they, what they gonna go through. I know what kind of gun they got and all that. I know, I know how, because like I say. Nigga, what? Nah, man, I, some people I just don't give a fuck. And they don't give a fuck because clearly, and this is, this is what's going on right now. What well, is it? You just gotta stop. We gotta stop at some point. You keep saying, we, I, I love it. This nigga equated up. The only reason I know that it wasn't normal because when, when, when does it, he said, I just look at him and just walk up. I leave. Sometimes he try to keep me down. When he turns his back, I leave. You know what I mean? Like, there's nothing you can tell me to do. There's nothing, you know what I mean? And I'm saying he have told me to do something, but I hear the way he talk. Man, this nigga ignorant. You know what I mean? I don't know. 21 ain't even ignorant. Y'all y'all both are stupid. Y'all niggas are, y'all done been broke. Y'all done been where we at. Y'all have an opportunity, y'all still trying to do stupid shit. You know what I mean? Like, this is, nigga, 21 years saying you got left me to get out my face. And you know, he talk like you're against Who? 21 said. He said what? I said he just saying I left in the face and made him get out of my neighborhood. So I'm just... Wait, what? Is he saying 21 Savage got slapped in the face? That's not true. Sometimes he try to keep me down. When he turns his back, I leave. You know what I mean? Like, there's nothing you can tell me to do. It's nothing, you know what I mean? And I'm saying he have told me to do something, but I hear the way he talk. Man, this nigga ignorant. You know what I mean? I don't know. 21 ain't even ignorant. Y'all y'all both are stupid. Y'all niggas are y'all done been broke. Y'all done been where we at. Y'all have an opportunity, y'all still trying to do stupid shit. You know what I mean? Like this is nigga 21 years saying you gotta left me to get out my face. You know, this somebody talk like you're against you. Who? Said, he said, what? I said, he's saying I left in the face and made him get out of my neighborhood. So I'm just saying, like. What is he saying? Like, his slang and draws is, is pretty strong. What, what, what is he saying, Chad? What is he saying? Help me out, please. But also, is he implicating? To, he kind of sounded like he was implicating 21. He said, yo. 21 and Thug, they're rich, but they keep doing stupid shit, right? Man, mine, I agree with you. Thank you for the donation. You say, yo, he, she's very intrigued by this, man. Reggae says, yo, uh, yo, damn, this is definitely giving cartel vibes for Young Thug. It's a laugh in his face. Somebody said, turn on captions. Captions can't decipher what this nigga's saying, man. Said 21 came to his hood and he laughed in his face and made him get out the hood. Damn. So you say he ran 21 out the hood. I mean, I, I just trying to, I mean, I don't know. I really pulled money. Oh, somebody said he told 21 he's too rich for street shit and laughed in his face and told him to get out the hood. Oh, wow. Well, anyway, um, let me try to catch him. He makes his own decisions. He's a car now. Not in prison. That's what I'm saying. He makes his own decisions. He was in the car with you. Like, he, he can't see the felon. Look at you putting everything on me. But anyway. How am I putting it on you? I said it. He makes his own decisions. He's a felon. How am I putting it on you? Woody, all you can do is do better. That's it. That's all you can do from this point on is do better. I try. I can say this. If you can show me that you can help me out, I can. I can get. I can. I'm not gonna tell you nothing. Else. I'm not gonna give you no clue what I'm talking about. No nothing. But I can give you some very helpful. I can tell you with something very helpful. I can. I can give you some very helpful information. What do you mean? Tell me where something's happening. I, I, well, I don't get I'm what not, that means. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I ain't, I'm not saying man, because I'm not going to let y'all keep talking to me to give me y'all information. 
and y'all ain't gonna throw me in jail and leave me in there. So, I gave you the information. Y'all wanna save your life? Now, okay, so say you have to go tonight and I come back with you with people that might be able to make some stuff happen, would you be open on a conversation? Well, what do you mean come to the jail? Yeah, I'm we'll gonna get you take you out of jail. I don't know, I wouldn't talk to you in the jail. People at the jail, the police at the jail, they just, they, the police, you know, I don't been at the jail when I don't heard the guards saying things about certain people. Come and get me from the jail, though. So now we have to do it. That's what I'm saying. I don't watch the guards. The guards at the jail talk. So. But here's the thing, like, uh, ankle monitor, Joe Ingram might not be happy with your progress on the monitor, but you're on now. So I don't know. I got some very healthy information. This is all I So if we need to come talk to you again, how would we do it? Not in the jail. I'm not going to talk no police in the jail because the guards are I'm not saying at the jail, like we took you out of the jail. No, because the guards are in the jail talk. They talk, they had said, oh, the police came, the detention came, got wounded from the jail. They don't want to question him. They do that. They don't done that. So what if when you have a court date one day, we just keep you at court? I don't want to talk at that point. I don't want to sign jail too long. So, so how am I supposed to get this information from you if I can't talk to you at the jail? I, I can take you out of the jail. I can save your life. They should, they should right there should have shown me that. If, if they don't help me get out of jail right there, they what I'm saying is, it's nothing they're gonna help me. If we want to have another conversation with you, what's the way to do it so you're comfortable? Right here. I can't get people down here tonight. Like the, the people you want to talk to, I can't get them down here tonight. So I'm not talking about the jail because my officers on. I understand my officers at the jail, so I'm telling you what's the way to do it. Uh, I'm not going to put you in the law library where inmates are sleeping the floor. I'm not going to do that. Talking, no, I don't say that's yeah. what I'm telling you. I'm not going to do that. So what's the way that you're comfortable? I'm not going to talk to the attorney booth. I'm not going to do that. He basically, he basically, yeah, he basically want her to say, I'm going to let you go. She's not going to let you go, my nigga. She's trying to help you out, though. Um, you clearly want to tell. It's not like she's trying to convince you to tell. She really don't give a fuck. It, actually, the other nigga didn't care enough. He dipped. So... Bro, you're not getting out tonight. Like, what do you want to do? Do you want to go to jail? Like, how do you? How can we make this where, like, blah blah, blah right? I'm not talking about outside the jail. Right, know. that's what I'm saying. I'm telling you now, like, cause I really, I really, I know, I know, and I know I'm not putting myself in this situation. I did it last night, and they said, you know, they can't get me from the jail and took me down to headquarters. I stayed down there for some long time. Yeah, y'all did it, yeah, a couple of times. Yeah, I was in the jail talk. I know how to put myself in this situation. Thank you, Jill, you know. I mean, I, I wouldn't do it up. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to run. I'm not going to do nothing. I ain't got no reason to lie. I give you, I gave you. No, that I understand. Up. And I, listen, I appreciate you sitting I here. I, you could have told us to go take a hug, get out of here. I appreciate you sitting here and talking to us. I do. I told y'all the information last time. And what happened? About paying me attention, send me to jail. I did my time. What information? About what, everything I knew about what happened with it. Say oh. situation. Everything I knew. But Everybody felt like I had something to do with it. No, I and didn't. you know what? But what did we talk about? Like, going to jail probably saved your life. I was going through my phone last night and looking through old stuff I had saved from 2015 and I found that number that um, death to whatever Instagram page that got made and they were coming for you, they were coming like, you would have been dead, you would have been dead. I didn't say I wasn't, like I tell people to would not be here, if you didn't but go right to federal prison. I'm going to do some whole time, hell no, nah. I really did because I got this look over my, my shoulder. I'm not trying to look over my shoulder. I'm not trying to be worried about how people look at me or what people think about me. Mm -hmm. well, it's been a while. You remember me? God damn. If a cop walk in and say, yo, it's been a while. You remember me? This guy deserves a raise. He's been, he's been very good today. Good. Sweet. She caping for him, though. Yo, he's been very good tonight. Don't 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 come in here with bad vibes. He's been very good. Yeah, he could definitely fuck her. Was 
going on with the stuff at the jail. Now he's afraid that, I said, if we wanted to come speak to him again, Kettle now works for the sheriff's office, so if there's an issue with the jail, that's going to get killed right away. He's saying that he's afraid that if we ever took him out to speak to him again or, or came to talk to him in the jail, that the guards are going to start putting words out that we came and got him. No, the dirty guys? Huh? The dirty folks that are over there? Worried about that? I haven't talked to no police in the jail. I'm saying no. But he's worried, like he said, like, no, I, I, I know people get taken out for a production where they say, well, he got taken out and he was down there for six hours. They say, start putting out rumors at the jail that's what he's concerned about. Okay. Well, I can squash that. I can, trust me. I, I know enough people. Shannon goes to medical every time he goes to jail. Like, come on. Do you trust me? <laughs> I'll find hey, a way. Shannon did it. People on me, like, I know people that this nigga know. They say they jail. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? These people, they be on me. Every time I go to the jail, they also watch me. They watch me like a goddamn hoe. You know what I mean? They watch everything they deal with me. I'm telling you, I'm hearing this from other officers they tell me that. They also watch everything I do there. From when I do go to that courthouse, they talk to me. They, they, they talk to me, they call me Woody. Um, yeah, I'm not talking about what I was I'm not, you know, not doing that. I'm not even going to no attorney this. No, nobody's going to talk to an attorney. Not, no, don't understand. Even with my attorney, this is how they is. I talk to my attorney on the phone every time. He couldn't come see me there. He can't see me one time. He had other inmates right there with me to go see me. Can't talk in no jail. And I, it's just like I said, I gave you the information right now today. No, no, no. I'm if they can't help me get out of jail, but I'm saying, saying it, if I want to come talk to you about whatever we need to talk about, I want to know how you're comfortable to do it. I, I told you, I'm not saying nothing in the jail. But you're saying you're not comfortable to come pull you out of jail. Because so, they, they, do people there, uh, they watch. They don't also know they talk to each other, and the ones that he know. So, no, 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 no. This, this is what I'll say. I'll kind of reassure you a little bit. They don't know me down there. Nobody knows who I am down there. Yeah. I... And there's a reason for that. Because I'm still doing the same shit I did here over there. I answer to one person over at that jail. That's the colonel. Because he used to work for APD. Okay? I don't go through their normal chain of command. I'm... You can say I'm special in that yeah. sense, and, and this is, and, and I, I understand entirely where you're coming from, dude. Because you know what, I do truly believe that stuff is going on there. I'm not doubting that, and I don't want you to get all fucked up because of something like that. That's the last thing I want to do. If you're willing to help out with something like that, I would certainly not put your life in danger with that. So I, I understand entirely where you're coming from with that. So if it is something where I make up some ruse. They get you out of the cell somewhere. They don't know where you're going to go. I'm just saying, I can do that. I'm different. Don't, 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 no, no, don't, I, I understand. You're saying, yeah, you're a high, you're, dude, you're a high priority. Don't do this beyond me. They be on some shit. Well, I'm not doubting that. Oh, I, I do, do try me. You think I don't know what goes on in that jail? Like I said, man, I'm doing the same. They don't know who I am. And the people that are over there, there's two people I specifically work with over at that jail. Okay? There's two deputies that I work with. That's it. And they know what's going on over there. And they all. I, I understand. If, let me tell you something. If, okay. if they do some type of special, come and get me. No, I know. This, I'm saying, if they do any kind of way they come get me that I also be looking like, those people are. Those yeah. officers are very, very nosy. Yeah. I have worked in the hall with them. All right. Essentially, basically saying, yo, um, if you lock me up and. and, and, and Tomorrow, which I, I plan to really tell you the real shit, I was, I'm going to tell you all the snitch details, the juicy snitching details, because now you're going to have the DA. This is probably late at night, so the DA is comfortably in their bed. You know what I mean? Um, okay, cool. The DA will be available tomorrow. Y'all say y'all got to book me over this gun. I want to snitch. I want to tell y'all about everything that's going on. I want to solve crime in the streets. I'm a crime fighter. I'm a truth teller. And um, he's saying, if you lock me up and tomorrow the DA wants to talk, the way how they're going to take me out of the jail is going to be obvious that I'm snitching. Like, I want, I'm snitching, but I'm snitching low key. I'm not snitching high key. I need my snitching to be low key. And I understand that because he's still got to live on the streets. You get me what I'm saying? 
Mm -hmm. I've been around them every day, all day. Mm -hmm. They pay attention to everything. They do. They yeah. watch. No, I, yeah, no, I, I entirely know what you're saying. Yeah, everybody's nosy. I, I get it because I, they know who you are. It, it, trust me, you ain't, you ain't the only only high priority that's up in that jail either that you know everybody's watching. I'm not saying that you're anything less special. I'm saying I understand entirely where you're coming from on that. So if it is something that is with that, I will find a way. I will present it to you. We will find, you know, if it's a jail call or something, we present it to you like that. You can say yes or no. I'm not, I'm not going to go put you in that situation, though. But like like she said. Well, uh, I know now, man. I'm not going to get a bun. I know I'm about to sit in jail, so. I really, let's try to get that out of Listen. I might always just go to sit in jail. Cody, we're, we're not going to, we're not going to, we're, we're not going to. I'm saying, I'm tired of it. You don't understand. But you got to make better decisions. You can't keep every time you get out. It's like remember John Quinn's. Every time he gets out, he does the same shit. It's different if I'm out here hurting people. Now this, I can't, I can't help the fact that people want to keep telling me what they, what they doing. That's the difference. Now if I was out here just doing shit, okay, I would live the first time ever. No, okay, I was wrong because I found a clip in my pocket. I Why would you have a clip in your pocket? I don't grab these pants. These ain't even my pants. I don't grab these pants and just put them on because I was resting. No, I mean, and I didn't even, I didn't even. Wait, you told me the same stuff when Mondo got knocked. I so, so yeah, and you remember because I talked to you. After I, said, I remember. Yeah, that's what I was saying. You remember I talked to you after that happened. What was the same? What did you tell you me said, then? I got a foul and you did still. Dude, and, you, and, 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 look, and look what happened, man. man. It, it, it's the same shit. And I know you're a smart dude. I know you know what's going on. Did I hear Mondo's name? And that's, that's kind of what bothers me on this whole thing, is it seems like you're still doing the stuff. Dude, I've been on this job for, a, you know, I've been here for 11 years, I and I've known you since damn me. day one. I try to show the real me, and yeah. I try to keep people off of me, because like I say, these new dudes, these younger kids, they don't know me. And they'll try to pull a strength, so I don't know, but I'm still the same, though. Bust yeah. one of y'all legs. I, I get that. But this is all they be. If I wanted one of those problems, I'd be waiting on care early in the morning when we get up out of the halfway house. Because people already had told us. Uh, you know, but I couldn't stop other people from sitting but, outside the halfway house. But why are you hanging out? weeks ago. But, but why are you hanging out over at Windsor and Richardson all the time? Why are you hanging out by the gazebo? Why are you hanging out over there, man? You, you knew that was the area. That was fucking hot. All right, chat. I'm taking an intermission from this just because this this still got like a fucking hour left. Like Jesus Christ, this is a telethon. Holy! Uh, there's a couple other topics that we could possibly get into. I, I just don't want this stream to be just about this. You know what I mean? This is obviously something we're gonna dissect and do everything with. But there's a few other things, and I've seen people um are hitting me about it. So let's talk about it. Okay. Um. Give me a second. Let me post this type of stuff. I'm about to post. I'm, I'm about to. I'm about to. Uh, I'm about to post something to my Instagram, and then um, we'll talk about it. All right, chat. Okay. <sighs> By the way, yo, salute to all my lieutenants, man. Like all my main chat niggas, Grand Wizard memes, um, um, chat niggas, shell drill. Like you know, let me tell you this. Without my chat niggas really helping me um, stay on top of things, I am nothing. So I, I want to just salute to all of them. They do a great job. You know, I'm here streaming. I'm one guy. They, they, they're sending me info and stuff about the stream. They're sending me stuff that should be on my main page. If, if you guys wonder where is the team behind academics, it's my audience. It's, it's the gang. It's the reason why. You know, I stand on it and I go to war with anybody who got problems against the chat. You feel me? Um, from memes, um, um, memes, one of my, that's my nigga. You feel me? Like, he helps me so much. Grand Wizard, he's just been there over the years. Shit, I ain't gonna lie, one of the first people who really helped me was Notorious Dre. So many great people, all the chat nigga pages. Like, there's so many people in, and also other people I'm not really um, acknowledging right now. But I appreciate all you guys. You guys are amazing. Fucking amazing, all right? I'm gonna keep playing this. Don't don't worry. I, I'm I'm gonna keep playing this. I just want to switch it up for a second. Let, let's let's not just be one track minded. So we're gonna get back to this for a second. We got a little Charleston from day one. 
on what happened. You went right, you already ran from my folks, by the way. The black guy for the black team, you ran from my I know for a fact you all ran, you ran from my boys on 285 doing a buck 20 on your shoulder. No, yeah, yeah, I keep saying it. No, I don't. Well, then your black Honda with the specific tag, like the specific markings, nah, dude, I ain't charged with that. I don't, I don't care. But I'm just saying, I know how you drive it, but it, it's, it's regardless. I ain't ran from the police. I, I ran from the police one time when I was out there. They was on feet. Wow. Ain't no other time. I ain't ran. Okay. No has to be chasing me. Regardless, like I said, man, I'm not, I'm not charging you with this shit. I, I don't care. I'm just saying, like, you, you still ended up back at your old stomping grounds. And what's going to happen? The same folks, the same folks, because I was out there a couple weeks ago, man. I saw your car pulling in because you were driving down Windsor. You blew a stop sign going down. And I'm like, oh, dude, I don't know. That's, that's freaking booty right there. And you were right in the parking lot with all the boys again. You had a couple of Jeeps in there. And I know you backed right in because you were towards the front so you could see everybody was going out and about on Windsor. But you kept going to the same spot. You knew that shit was hot. How many times Windsor and Richmond, how many times that corner been shot up? Not not just you, but in general. Growing up, how many how many bodies have been dropped on that corner? I told you, let me tell you this. You got to probably see me right there posting it. I went over there and I talked to the people who I was going to shot. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I spoke with them. Okay. I got to speak with them. I looked, I seen um, uh, police right there, uncover whatever y'all call them. I seen them, I didn't see them. I talked with them and I told them about shit. Hey man, this I ain't trying to tell y'all what to do, bro. But y'all just gotta start him. I mean, these people have got shot in the back. These niggas don't care. They just shoot. This shit here around the dice game. Y'all niggas arguing about twenty dollars. I gave these niggas twenty dollars. Yeah. And y'all niggas still come in to do that. They start hanging up there. It's the same. It's the same game though that you had when you were. And I, I get it, dude. I read really, it, but I get caught up because I be trying to play fucking. Peace make it to shit instead of just letting niggas do what they do because this one stupid fool got all these different niggas around mm -hmm. that this shit don't mix. Yeah. So, like I said, I told him to hang. I was done going to Mechanicsville. That's why I was on bank here because I said, shit, ain't nobody coming on bank here. Mm -hmm. I mean, and I'm not going to be called. The police ain't going to be saying, oh, who's it? This is because of who's it over here. And there are kids out there too, but. It's not going to be nothing because of the way the apartment is made. Ain't nobody coming up in those apartments. Mm -hmm. But my whole thing is, man, I, I promise, man, I, it, I know y'all tired of saying the same shit, but, man, no, it's, it's, it's not I'm going to risk in my life giving y'all this information because I know for 100% sure only four people know about this information. This one person, okay. D. But we're not going to put you out there like that. We're not going to do stuff and not put you out there like that. Yeah, but I, I, I think promise you. Okay, remember, how many, how many times... Have I been straight out? Like, the 11 years that you've known me, when have I ever lied to you on anything I've ever done? Well, I don't when, when did I ever lie on any, any... Are the cops trying to, like, tell this guy, like, he's... Tr they're trustworthy? <laughs> Chef Swish. I think that's just chat, nigga. I think that's his new account. What do you say? Let me see what he said. He said, yo, Ack, what's the difference between what King Vaughn and Thug do? And what presidents do when they tell a military to slaughter a whole country with women, children over oil. Both at war, but when they come back, they praise and give them medals. Come on, chat nigga. Like, are you serious? The difference is the United States had to fight a whole war to become its own sovereign country, okay? If Young Thug want to go fight a war with the Atlanta police, let him do that. Go if you don't want to get in trouble, nigga, go fight. Go, go declare uh 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 DC uh, well Atlanta like uh DC, basically just the home of the slimes or some shit like that. No, it's, it's, it's stop. Let's stop trying to act like what Thug is doing is like military excursions. Let let let's be clear. Young Thug is bloodthirsty, brother. That that's what is clear and apparent. All right. I get what y'all trying to compare it to, like, yes, the United States government and military do probably some heinous things, but we only see it from our perspective, right? Um, we see it as a country perspective. At the end of the day, if you think Young Thug and the 20, 20, 27 goons that he had, you know what I mean? Let's say 26 because, you know, you know, gonna say he was not a part of that. You think they deserve to be treated like a country. 
What good to the community? What what? First of all, this nigga is a shooter. He said Young Thug don't even give. Him, well, not a shooter. He's not a shooter. But this guy said Young Thug don't give give the, these niggas money. So one nigga is just living the lifestyle, right? Literally, all pun intended. Five houses, fucking all the bitches, and he's telling all the broke dudes to go do murders. Come on now. Any of the old he never, boy. He never had it like for real. I gave y'all the information. Okay. But well, yeah. else I know, guess what? If I have to sit in jail, then it's this shit here. I can just keep it to myself. I have no reason. Y'all could be right there outside this jail to pick me up. And I can take you right to a certain location. And y'all can do sure. whatever y'all do right there. Okay. But me personally, as in giving y'all any more information, I'm not going to so, so. What you gave us tonight is valuable. I'm telling you that right now. It's valuable information. And we appreciate it. But y'all are saying, how could y'all talk to me again with... Can, say it, what, can, can I say Can I speak? Go ahead. How could y'all talk to me again if necessary if someone else wants to speak with me? So if y'all willing to help me, I can give y'all this information and y'all do whatever so, y'all do. So say we go out this is true and we say, you know what? Yeah. You so told the is, truth. So this is where... I want to come talk to you. And I'm sure she, she's talked about this with you. So yes, we, we know that you're giving the intel. Well, we'll do this from like a breakdown perspective. You're giving us information. Okay, now we have to verify that information. Once we can consider that information verifiable, okay, then you're considered a reliable source of information. I okay, and this is, this is, is that being given information? No, 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 I understand that. I, and this is, I'm going off of, this is the legal definition for it, okay? Like, you know. By the way, thank you to our NM Guts EBK, Big 25 Gifted Subs. Everybody spam a big W to our NM Guts EBK for the 25 gifted subs, helping out my boys on Twitch, avoid them ads. Uh, if you guys are on YouTube, you could avoid ads by becoming a member. Uh, unfortunately, I think you have you have to be watching on the um, um, negotiator page to actually become a member. But anyway, salute to my boy um, NM Guts EBK. You know what? You know, you've always heard it's not what you know, it's what you can prove in court. I know you've seen training day. Everybody's seen training day and all that shit. Okay. We all know we all know the answers to tons of crimes out there. Okay. We we know people are responsible, like certain people are responsible for dropping bodies, certain people are selling dope. You know, it, it is what it is. But she's talking about this stuff's verifiable, okay? And we talk to you when we have to talk to you again in regards to the verified information. That's what she But I gave you the information today. I mean, I, I got you. I can tell you plenty more people that that's on to him now. But you know what I mean that y'all don't even know. My whole thing is, man, if I have this in jail, yeah, mm -hmm. I, I just on Here, let me actually let, let me talk to her outside real quick about something real fast. I'm gonna come right back in. I can get the phone to my phone. Okay. We're gonna come back in in a minute. Okay. Yeah, 
So let's do a lot tonight. Okay. Just relax on it. Let it sit. Okay. Let me do my thing. Let her do her thing. All right. See, it's different than when we were over here in this building because we're limited to what we could do. Where I'm at, I control that shit. Where she's at, she controls that shit. Let us do what we need to do. All right. I, I, I know it's sucks. Uh, hey, know. you did 51 months. A, a night or two is not going to kill you. Okay? And so pro it's probably better that you're in jail tonight if something does happen and you have a place that we, we can say you're it's at. Nice. I don't care if I have to stay there tonight. Okay, what I'm saying is, okay, so let's chill out for a night or two. Uh, I gave you my phone number. You don't want to take it. Clutch, thank you for the donation. You say, yo, bro, whoever just donated about comparing it to the military. That was Chad, nigga. He's, he says, that nigga got to be slow as fuck. <laughs> hey, if you call me in a day or two, I can let you know what's going on. I, 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 so I'm telling you to call me. Okay. 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 And we, it would take you like two weeks to get a tablet. You don't even have a tablet. Exactly. So, so what I'm saying is, so, no. What I'm saying is, if you if if you're not gonna be in there and have a tablet, I can't communicate with you. You don't have to come down here. So what I'm saying, he's in there. I'll talk about this. I don't. I don't like him. That's enough. Go on, argue all pieces. Do something to eat. You don't want anything to eat. I'm going to jail. I don't, I don't got an appetite. I'm gonna finish the jar. My whole thing is. Just At least they offered him food. He just had no appetite. This is bullshit. Y'all know like I know. If I'm willing to help y'all out, y'all is not willing to help me take out. Nobody said that. My thing is, I knew y'all wanted me in jail because y'all want me and Kel on the street together. And I feel like no matter what I say, y'all gonna feel like I'm not gonna stay out the way you're not gonna stay in the house. So I already know y'all are gonna make us sit in jail. For a minute, you know what I mean? That's my whole thing. You know what I mean? Like, I, I give y'all. What did we say in regards to that stuff? What did we say? It has to be verified. Okay? Because right now. Because right now I have to go tonight. The time club. Yeah. I'm sitting out there. That's why so I'm taking it. I've already been out since fucking 4 a.m. So. But. Uh, Trust me, it has a whole thing about it. I just, man, I just, I just, I just, I just told you that you check my phone call. I can unlock my phone right now. You can see the calls. Well, you give consent for us looking at your phone? Yeah, what you looking for? I mean, either we're going to do a search warrant order, you can give us consent either way. Just, yeah, I don't got anything to have. I, I'm not, not, I don't want to pressure you to give consent. And if you don't want to give consent, I'm more than happy to do a search warrant. If you want to give consent, I want to show me what's in there, and then we'll talk about it. Yeah, I'm saying I can't let my phone on that too. But like I said, I'm being very careful like I was this time. And I understand, Woody, it's one. Listen, let's get past tonight, okay? But I don't want to talk to you because he's here. Well, I'm going to care, man. Why do I know you? Don't let me know. But I know that's the thing. Okay, I know you don't. Okay, I don't trust that motherfucker. Okay? This is the very moment that we can control. Like, Yo, they're playing this thing like a fiddle. What did he say about 21 Savage chat? So Cause I just went to this with y'all, man. Shit. Okay. Then if you don't want to 
to get consent, and I'm more than happy to search one if you want to get consent. You want to want to show me what's in there, then we'll talk about it. Yeah, I'll send. I can go that one on that too. But like I said, I'm I'm being very careful. Like I will do this tonight. And I'm just like, Woody, it's listen. Let's get past tonight, okay? You guys, I don't care, man. Why do I know you? Don't don't know. I don't know. I know that's the thing. I know you don't. I don't trust that motherfucker. Okay? This is the very world that we can like control. Dogs. Like, you'd be bringing on random people. You can't do that. I don't trust him. I don't trust you, baby. You made bad decisions with that. You, baby's fucking crazy. He's already 20 months out of it. What'd he say? What'd he say? Okay, this is the very world that we can control. Dogs. Like, you'd be bringing on random people, you can't do that. I don't trust him, I don't trust you, baby. You made bad decisions with that. Do you, baby's fucking crazy? It's already 20 months out of it. That fucker. Listen, okay, if I stand here, I'm gonna take it. I gotcha. Yeah, I got free information. Whisper it is crazy. You gotta realize something like that, there's a lot of stuff that has to take place before that happens. And that ain't gonna happen right now. It's impossible. But we are gonna do our best to try and make that happen. I don't know. He's all out of trust me. He's trying to listen. He's been trying to listen since you got here. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna do. Okay. Just chill out. Well, you drink something. You gotta drink something. Yeah, keep us together. It did. I mean, y'all put both of them together and shit. I don't know how to do plastic when you get down there. I don't know, machine's been jacked up recently. Mm -hmm. You want something to drink now? No. Oh, come on. You don't want nothing. Alright. Get them tears out, young man. Get them tears out. Oh, man, got a rip in the back of his shirt. This shit is torturous. can't help but feel a little bit bad, you know what I mean? Yo, I need the bathroom! Yeah, my boy need to use the bathroom, man. Yo! Damn, bro. This is so sad. He's 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 shackled to to some shit here. Like he's trying to reach out and touch somebody, but he can't. He's trying to reach out and touch the door, but he can't. This is fucked up. Nah, this is fucked up, man. Xavier, right? This one. Mm-hmm. 
You want nine? Three, one. Don't be up, bro. I'm going to sleep. Oh, okay, well, I'll right, get bro. That ain't true. Alright. Yep. Thank you. Can you call right there? He's got a good girlfriend. Yo, no funny business and and, and and like not being facetious or nothing. I, I hope this young man gets out of this life. You know, niggas like Young Thug claim that they love this life. Young Thug once proclaimed he can't wait till he go to prison. He gonna get some titties to fit in. So he's always been saying he loves that life. By the way, I haven't seen him complain about being in jail. He look like he's chilling. This guy right here. Not saying he didn't make them choices to be in this position, but clearly he's making choices to get the fuck out of that position. And I think that's what that 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 detective was saying to him, like, "Yo, bro, how many times are you gonna be in this position? Are are, are you? Is this a life you're trying to live, or you're trying to get out? If you're trying to get out, just get out. Go, get out. I I pray and I hope this young man." Um, I know he might be a truth teller right now, you know what I mean? Helping to fight crime and all that type of stuff, but I, I I pray he gets the peace. It seems like he's trying to get it, and I pray he stays out of the life that would lead to this. That's as much as I can really say. Hello. Make sure you keep your phone on, bro. It's on. Oh, oh, in your hand. All right. All right. Can I use the bathroom? Yeah, he's gonna take you. I can't take you. So he goes to use the bathroom. I mean, I think that's hey. about it. Yeah. I think that's about it, people. Wow. Um, I I I I hope we kind of take some some lessons away from this. This isn't a glamorified, uh, glamorized part of the streets. We don't hear about rappers rapping in detail about people who are down to their last, their last wits. They're venting to the cops. They're begging for a chance. They're begging for a chance at freedom. The women in some of these guys' lives who are hoping they do better, but probably rely on these guys for sustenance and, you know, try to. Hopefully, these guys could come home with a check. Some of these guys are taking penitentiary chances. They're shooting out for rich niggas like potentially Young Thug or Life and Lucy. Who knows? Then they get a call from this dude who's in a interrogation room. Don't know when he's going to get out. He's trying to cooperate, but he's still trying to seem street. He seemed like he's stuck in the middle. He gets out of jail. And apparently this wasn't the time when he got out of jail, but he, you know, you know, this life is the life that these dudes are li living is is so is so toxic. Even after all that, where you see a nigga about to cry, he's begging and pleading to get out of jail, and they say, "I sat in jail in in jail days, nights and months and years, and I didn't know the outcome. Didn't call on God. I didn't cooperate or cry. I started working." On understanding myself, realizing who I am and what I'm worth, jail gave me time to think, grow and understand. Only point I have to prove is showing my people that whatever we put our mind to, we could do it. Stay away from bad energy. Focus on focus and believe in yourself. But at the end of the day, he still got that snake emoji because he's still slime with that green heart. Cautionary tale, people. I, 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 um, cautionary tale. All right, I think I probably hit most of the uh, topics I wanted to hit tonight. Chat uh, if y'all can, um, because we're about to we're about to put the original chat nigga logo uh, hoodie or yeah the chat nigga hoodie on sale. 